Yo, 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 you guys, it's Dr. Tunes back once again, and I'm bringing you another Flash episode review. This episode's title is Seeing Red. If y'all are doing the content, go ahead and hit your board with a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll jump right into this. The episode opens up with the doctor bringing Cicada some groceries. He can no longer see his niece, and the police officers are all guarding the young girl, so he's unable to do anything, and he wants to see his niece ASAP. And the doctor pretty much states, hey, rather than wasting your energy and talents here, you need to go back and go do your job. Hey, no, 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 hey, check, you want me, ah. No, um, <laughs> like, so Cicada goes back on his killing spree. Caitlin is trying to find a cure for Metas, but she's met with adversity thanks to Killer Frost not wanting her to pursue this route. Then later on, we see Cicada attacking two Metas. One of these Metas we've already seen, one of the, the Meta with the snake in his eye. And then like a new meta, the snake eye guy ends up running while the bigger, stronger guy tries to fight Cicada. And Cicada makes light work of him. And the snake guy is looking behind him and seeing this guy pretty much getting stabbed in all these wounds and whatnot. Cicada attacks another meta and Team Flash wants to go save this young lady. So they all jump in. Of course they have Killer Frost. Killer Frost is switching between Caitlyn to try to save the other girl. And during this time, Cicada ends up breaking Nora's back so she can no longer run right now. It's taking her a great deal longer to heal, and I think it's due to Cicada's powers and abilities hindering Nora's own. The team also learns that Cicada has some sort of list to locate the metas, and the list directly links back to the police station that Barry and Officer Joe work at. So Cecile wants to call on every single favor to help relocate these metas and keep them safe because they've already served their time and they're now regular members of the community that deserve protection. Barry ends up recruiting Ralph and Caitlin to help find these other metas and keep them safe. And Barry has a vendetta against Cicada and he wants him dead on a side note, just pointing that one out there. And Caitlin helps, Caitlin helps him out, or Killer Frost does, and they locate the snake eye guy so that he can kind of help convince the other metas to work with them. And of course he agrees, as long as he's the first person on that convoy out of here. Cecile calls in her favor with the police director, and as she's passing Officer Jones from a few episodes ago, she reads his mind, and I'm pretty sure she understands his intent a little bit. The team recruits most of the other villains to kind of stay put, and the last villain, or reform villain, should I say, they're looking for is Peekaboo. The Flash ends up going to visit her, and she doesn't believe the Flash. She's like, look, man, I just wanna live my life and be alone. And while she's trying to lolly, while they're lollygagging, trying to get her away, Cicada pops up, and team, like, they end up getting away, but it was a very close call. Cecile figures out who gave up the list, and later on, Iris finds Sherlock Wells questioning Nora and she doesn't appreciate all that's going on. So she pretty much tells Sherlock Wells to fall back and leave her alone. Cause that is her daughter and she's gonna protect her by any means necessary. We learn why Killer Frost has been giving Caitlyn such a hard time trying to find this metagene. And it's because she's scared that Caitlyn might figure out one day she doesn't really want Killer Frost around and get rid of the cure, which would end up getting rid of Killer Frost entirely because the two of them share a body. And Ralph reassures her that when Caitlyn thought that Killer Frost was gone, she felt like a part of her had died too. So she was trying very hard to find Killer Frost and get her back. So that kind of reassures Killer Frost a little bit. Now Cicada ends up finding the rendezvous point and the Flash and Killer Frost are trying to keep Cicada at bay. And Ralph is helping the other meds get onto the helicopter. Peekaboo, selfish behind, ended up teleporting herself right onto the helicopter, but Ralph is trying to help the other metas get on there, and the snake eye, eye guy in a selfless act ends up letting the other metas go ahead in front of him before he tries to jump on or get onto the helicopter itself. Now, during this fight, Cicada ends up throwing his dagger and it nearly hit Caitlyn, she dodged. It almost hit the snake eye guy, but Ralph ends up pulling him up to the helicopter to safety. Now. Caitlyn is now using her ice abilities to block it so Cicada can't hinder anybody's power. Barry goes ham on Cicada and is reaching like, like, like lightning jewels like you wouldn't believe he is getting so much power. And the team recognizes that Barry's suit is like going off the rep, like the scale. And Nora's like, oh, she's about, he's, he's about to die, kill him, kill him. Cicada has met his last days, so Nora, who can walk at this point, 
ends up racing to her father and telling him to stop. Cicada takes his opportunity to dip and Nora is just like, she apologized to her father about letting Cicada get away, but Barry really just cared about his daughter being alive and being able to walk and run. Cecile and the police captain end up confronting Officer Jones and Cecile is reading his mind at this time too. And he admits to doing what he did and that Meta shouldn't even be on the streets right now. Now, Caitlin and Killer Frost end up making up and they're able to share a telepathic link and speak to each other even without the help of that device created by that one Wells. And we see that Kate has DNA from, from Cicada thanks to Killer Frost. So she has the, the DNA she needs to go ahead and run her experiments. As Sherlock Wells is trying to figure out what's going on or the secrets of this book that Nora has, he ends up learning that there are two forms of handwriting with this time language. Barry ends up deciding that it's better to go ahead and try to cure Cicada's niece so that he'll stop going on this reckless killing spree. And Cicada is looking at more minutes to kill. And the last minute he ends up on, it looks like is Nora. This episode was pretty good. I liked a lot of it. I always like seeing Killer Frost because Killer Frost is a badass. Um, Peekaboo was always a fun character to see. I love me some Nora and, you know, Barry, uh, daddy daughter action. That was pretty cool too. And it was a good episode. Even Ralph was like not such a goofball. He was like really serious. I like when Ralph is actually serious and trying to do things the right way. So I'm taking this episode. I'm hoping next week's episode is just as dope. But thank y'all so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Out.